guys, welcome back and thanks for stopping by. Today I'm looking at the quick shots from DJI Mavic Air. These are the six automated quick shots that you can take with your Mavic Air, one button press, and then it goes off and does its thing, it comes right back to you, and then you're done. You can do all these quick shots in probably 10 minutes and have, you know, 10 minutes of battery time left over. If you're like me, you've tried this several times now since you got the Mavic Air. It's probably the first thing you did once you got it out of the box and got it charged up and you had mixed results. Yesterday, I was just thinking on the way home, and I think I've come up with a better idea or a, a different way of using it, not necessarily better. I'll let you guys uh, comment below, but uh, tell me what you think. This might be a little bit different, but I think it's a better for, for filming purposes, so stay tuned. Okay, so first up, we are gonna go into the quick shot feature. I'm gonna do the droney. See how it has the green dot there? Really, all you have to do is hit that button. <clears throat> and the drone will do the rest. Next up, let's kick this up a notch. Go back to normal mode for a second. So what I found was that you can not, you can, you don't necessarily have to do yourself. So I'm going to go into quick shots. I'm going to do circle. And I'm going to hit go. Right now I'm looking at the smokestack here. Okay, so next we're going to do the helix. Helix will circle around and get higher as it goes. So this is a cool shot as well. I'm going to highlight the same stack there. And again, my goal is to have a nice foreground while looking at the background at the same time. Three, two, one. Let's hit it again. <clears throat> Not exactly what I was hoping for, but um, that's cool, I guess. Quick shots, A rocket, 76 feet. All right, it's got it, it's hit go. show you boomerang mode proper boomerang um, should be like this three two one it'll go Asteroid. Let's try out Asteroid. Give it a whirl. And go. This might be kind of cool. Okay guys, and I'm back. Just got finished checking out all the different quick shots with the DJI Mavic Air. A couple thoughts. There are some good things and bad things about the quick shots as it relates to the Mavic Air, and, it, and it's really situations. The places where this is really gonna be awesome to do the quick shots are in very flat areas, 
very open areas with with hardly any trees that are higher than you know 10 or 15 feet tall as you can see in the background here we have trees that are you know 150 feet tall or at least 100 feet tall so any of these these quick shots that you're doing where they're doing circles my thought is I want I want to do the quick shot so that when it's I, I just want to use myself as a focal point for the purpose of the film to shoot the background I don't really want myself to be in the video necessarily I'm more of an introverted sort by nature so I tend to not want to be in the videos all that often so that's why I came up with the idea of you know may, maybe not having yourself as the object but using the smokestack over there to use that as the object kind of works with mixed results so you know try it and see what see how it works out for you places where this would be great is if you're on the open water if you're in a canoe or a boat sailboat whatever looking at you cruising off duty to uh, make that happen but uh, this would be great out on the open water because you could you could pan you know yourself or the object and then see everything in the background or if you're on top of a mountain and it's a nice clearing and you have a huge huge landscape in the background here where it's where you have very tall trees the quad you know if you get it up high enough above the trees the gimbal is going to be pointing down the whole time and so you're you're almost looking straight at the straight at the ground as you're rotating and all you get is this very unflattering parking deck so take that for what it's worth for me it's not something i'll use all that often because of where i typically am but when i'll when i travel and i go to different places uh you know i definitely keep that in the bag as something to try so anyway guys that's about it for me so let me know in the comments what you think about the quick shots if you've got better ideas i would definitely love to hear them like i said i'm just you know i've done this about a half a dozen times now and i've had mixed results but i want to see how you guys are doing it and so i want to see if i can learn from you guys just as much as i hope this is helpful for you to at least give you some ideas of what to try so Hey guys, and one more thing. I just wanted to say uh, a hearty thank you for everyone that's watched the last couple videos. I've been totally blown away by the number of uh, folks that have commented, given me a thumbs up, subscribed. It's just truly awesome. I, I had no idea that there was so much interest out here in the Mavic Air. I'm going to keep making Mavic Air videos. It's something that, you know, I've, I've got the Mavic Pro. Love that. I'm going to, you know, do the same thing with the Mavic Air. Love this quad. And my, my goal is, is to only make better videos and so everything that i learn i want to be able to to share that with you guys so that you guys can make more videos as well my goal is not to sell product or anything like that uh, my goal is simply to just make videos a little bit better each each and every time so if that's what you're into um, definitely hit the subscribe link let me know in the comments what you want to see more of and thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video Thank you.